everyone! This tutorial shows you how to make these little cute circus favor baggies from our shop. So if you would like to see how to make them, keep watching! You know, in our Etsy shop you can find more than 1400 items to print and to craft with. And one of it is this little circus favor bag. And once you've purchased these, you can print them as many times as you like for a wedding or for a party. These would look amazing on a nice tray. And I'm going to show you how to make these right now. I printed this on 300 grams per square meter paper. That's quite a lot. That is about 110 LB cover. Normally this is way too heavy for my printer, but I did it anyway. <laughs> the first task is to cut this out completely. And for the long straight lines, I'm just going to use my paper trimmer. That goes a bit faster. Perfect. And cut out these little bits with your scissors. And the next thing to do is to fold all these lines. See? On your assembly guide, it's all the yellow lines so basically all the lines you see and for most of the folds I'm going to use my scoreboard there it's heavy paper so I can go in there quite good The only lines I'm not going to score with my scoreboard are these four ones. These I'm going to do with a regular scoring tool like this one and a small ruler. Place some protection underneath. And now it's time to fold everything. This bottom flap goes inside. Now this is heavy paper and you guys know I love my bone folder. This one goes inside. First going to fold all the major ones. These go inside as well. And now, these ones in the middle, they actually bend like this. So I'm going to pre-bend them already. Yes. If you use a lighter weight paper, like half as heavy, of course, that'll go much easier. And I'm going to try to pre-fold these already too. That makes the process a lot easier. Like this. There. Normally you don't need to do that because I use very heavy paper. I'm going to cut this square or this piece of paper off. Just to make it a bit easier. And to close the box, I'm going to put glue on this flap. It's all in the assembly guide. Actually very easy. So. And then glue it on the inside of the other end, like this. And Normally, when you've cut it right, you can really press this. Make sure these folding lines match up. And then, we're going to tackle the bottom. Fold in the little side flaps. Put some glue 
on both side flaps. Fold in one of the longer flaps. Put some glue on that one. Like that. Fold it shut too and now let it dry. And I suggest to put something heavy in there. I like to go in there with my glue bottle and give it a good press. And now a bit of a tricky part because this is so heavy paper that I'm using. Fold in the top part. But because I cut out that little rectangular piece a bit earlier, it goes much easier. So start from one end and then just carefully fold in the top. And this top part, you can say, why not just cut it off? Well, it makes it so much prettier because you have a pretty edge now on the inside, but also sturdier. I'm going to start here. Just take your time and nicely fold it inwards like this. And then I like to go in there with my bone folder. You can put glue on there if you like, but it's not really necessary, I think. No, just make it harder and messier. Yeah, really go into the corners and then bend your baggie like this. And because I pre-bended it, like I like to call it, goes very, very easy. Like this, and essentially your bag's ready. It just needs some rope in here. So next part is to cut two holes here, two holes there. It's quite thick, but I think I can manage it. And normally I would measure where I like it to come, but I'm going to eyeball it, you know. Yep, goes through like a charm. Now, same height here. There. Now for the other side, yes, you can see I should have measured first because this is a bit higher than that one, but we're going to pretend that didn't happen. Yeah. There. Get rid of the marks. Now for the handles, you can use pretty cord or ribbon or lace, whatever you want. But I like to use old handles from other baggies. So I got these, these are nice and thick from old bags. I threw the paper bag away, but I kept these. And essentially, as you can see, they're shoelaces. So get yourself some cheap shoelaces in the color that you like, if you want and just pull it through. I left one knot because it was from the, uh, from the previous bag. Put the other end through and see how large I would like it. Not too large because it's actually a small baggie. I'm going to make a knot right here. So for these small bags, kiddies shoelaces, ideal. Make a tight knot and snip off the other end. And do the same on the other side. Pull it through. Make them equally as long. And when the handles are equally as long, just Make the knot very tight and cut it off. Now you've seen these scissors, they're horrible. There's like glue everywhere and tape everywhere and uh, a piece of tape here. That's because I use these scissors to cut really bad things, like bad things. I, ne I mean like uh, thick things, sticky things, uh, icky things. So this way I won't ruin my good pair of scissors. The baggie is ready and it's very, very sturdy. 
You don't need this sturdy paper. You can use lighter paper if you like. Normally for these kind of baggies I just use 160 grams of paper. That's 59 LB cover if I'm not mistaken. So that's still sturdy paper but a bit more easily manageable. But I really like this piece, this baggie. So this was the assembly tutorial how to make these little favor baggies. Have a wonderful day and see you next time. Bye!